Hi guys, so welcome sa part 4 ng ating topic na torsion. So, proceed na tayo sa example number 5. The compound shaft is attached to a rigid wall at each end. For the bronze segment AB, the diameter 75 mm and G is equal to 35 gigapascal. For steel segment BC, the diameter is 50 mm and G is equal to 83 gigapascal. Given that A is equal to 2 meters and B equals 1.5 meters, compute the largest torque T that can be applied as shown in the figure if the maximum shear stresses is limited to 60 MPa in the bronze and 80 MPa in the steel. So dito class, um, gagawin na naman natin, class, i-design na naman natin no, yung maximum allowable torque T na pwede nga apply without exceeding yung mga uh, allowable stresses ng no, mga materials natin. Okay, so let's start. So una is, i-drawing muna natin siya. So dito yung bronze, dito yung steel. Okay, so lagay natin yung mga properties, no? So, una yung length. Ito is 2 meters. Dito is 1.5 meters. This one is bronze. So, the diameter ng bronze is 75 mm. Ano pang given? Yung G. Uh, 35 GPA and then for steel is the diameter is 50 millimeters and then in G is 83 GPA okay binigay din yung mga allowable stresses nila no so uh, tau max okay or tau allowable rather okay allowable Tau allow for bronze is hanggang 60 MPa lang. And then yung shear stress allowable para sa steel is uh, 80 MPa. Okay, so siguro bago ko mag salt class, kunin ko na yung ano, yung uh, capacity, torque capacity ng materials natin. So, para makuha yung torque capacity, may binigay tayong uh, allowable stresses. So, makuha natin using yung formula na uh, TR over J. No? So, kunin natin yung capacity. So, for capacity ng each material, so, gumitin natin yung tau is equal sa TR over J or T over pi R cube over 2 for solid shop solid naman yan eh okay so kunin natin yung ano bronze so for bronze magig ano to uh, tau ng bronze is equal sa torque capacity ng bronze then over pi r cube over 2 ng bronze okay so Lagay natin. So, sabi, kaya niya mag-carry ng 60 MPa. So, ilan to So, yung radius is, so, kung 75 yan, so, 37.5 yung radius. Okay. So, MPa, millimeter, so, lalabas dito, Newton millimeter. So, yung torque ng bronze, capacity to class, ha? Capacity. Ilan ang capacity ng bronze? So, labas is 4970097.753 Newton millimeters. Okay. So, hanggang dyan yung pwedeng i-carry ng bronze na torque without exceeding pa yung allowable. Uh, shear stress niya. So, para naman kay kay ano, steel. So, tau steel equal naman yung sa T ng steel over pi r cube over 2 ng steel. So, given for steel is 80 MPa naman. So, 
So pi and then your radius is 20, uh, 50 and so 25 mm cube over 2. So ilan nga yun yung torque capacity ng steel. Okay, so labas is uh, 1963495.408 Newton mm. Pero that doesn't mean na ito na ngayon yung torque carried ng mga materials natin. Capacity lang yan. Guys. Okay, capacity lang. Anyways, so paano gagawin para masold? So, inahanap niyo ba yung torque dito? So, gano'n daw kalaki yung torque na pwedeng ilagay dyan without exceeding yung mga allowable shear stresses nila. So, ang gagawin natin, so same ng ginawa natin sa last uh, video presentation natin, which is yung part 3. So, kakat natin ito sa gitna. Consider natin yung midsection. So, putulin natin. So, lalabas dyan is ganito. So, nandito yung torque T na hinahanap. So, syempre, magre-resist yung mga materials natin, di ba? So, eto para sa bronze, magre-resist yung pag ganito. So, T bronze. Eto magre-resist din tong steel na T steel. So, ito yung hinahanap na torque T. So, unang gawin natin, gawa tayo ng equation of equilibrium for step 1. So, equation of equilibrium. So, using itong torque diagram na to, so by summation of uh, torque is equal to zero, considering this direction and torque equals positive. So, the T bronze okay, plus T steel minus T is equal to zero. Okay? So, therefore, nabigyan na natin ang relationship yung tatlo. So, ito na equation 1. Next, ano yung pagkukuna natin ng next? Yung compatibility equation. So, yung compatibility equation, kukuna natin sa relationship ng mga angle of twist. So, ano gagawin ulit natin? So, consider tayo dito ng straight line, straight horizontal line initially, na nung wala pa yung torque. Okay? So, let's say ito is point A. This one is B. This one is C. Okay, initially straight line sila, di ba? Pero nung pinaikot na natin ito class, anong masasabi mo sa points A and C? Di ba, wala silang movement? Or, we can say that the angle of rotation of C with respect to A is 0. Tama ba? Walang movement yung C with respect sa A since nasa fixed ends nga sila. Okay, so makukuha natin tong uh, theta c with respect to a equal yun sa pinagsamang angle of rotation sa segment ab plus angle of rotation sa segment bc so that is theta c with respect to b plus angle of rotation naman ng b with respect to a okay and then simplifying this further so ito zero so maging ano to yung theta is uh, TL over JG so that ito magiging ano, torque sa CB length ng CB over uh, J ng CB G ng CB and then plus torque sa BA length ng BA JBA and then GBA okay so, yung mga lengths, madaling kunin. Yung G, madali lang din. And then, yung J, masasolve natin yung si mga given na radius. Ano itong torque sa CB? So, considering itong CB, edi, ito yung torque na nasa kanya. Sino ba yung material yan, class? Yung steel. So, ito yun, ito yung torque CB. For BA naman, so ito yun. So, bronze naman siya. So, therefore, torque ng bronze naman yung gagamitin natin dito. Pero bago gamitin class, di ba? Recall natin, kailangan ma-indicate natin yung sign niya. Okay? Using right hand rule. So, considering this section, silip ako dyan. So, yung right hand dyan, yung positive is 
pa paano yung positive, di ba? Pa ganito yung positive. Tama? So, therefore, siya is hindi the same ng direction. So, therefore, negative. Okay? So, dito naman sa likod, kung sisilip ako dyan, so, yung right hand rule naman dyan is pa ganito yung positive. Okay? So, since same siya ng direction, so, therefore, this one is positive T bronze. Okay? Hindi ko na din narawin yung right hand kasi nagawa ko na siya sa previous video ko. Anyways, so, rewrite natin to So, ito equals. So, TCB. So, dito yan. So, yung steel. So, negative. Torque sa steel. Then, yung length sa steel is. Hindi ko na ulit ko convert to class ha. Kasi magka-cancel out na naman yung mga units. So, kung ano yung binigay na unit, yun na lang muna yung gagamit. Diba? So, LCB. Ito yan. So, 1.5 meters. And then, divided by yung J. So, pi over 2. Then, yung radius is 25 raised to 4. And then, yung G is 83 GPA. Then, plus, yung torque sa BA. So, ito yung BA. So, bronze. So, bronze. Therefore, positive. So, T bronze. And then, yung length ng bronze is, ayan o, 2 meters. TL over J, so that is pi over 2, radius is 75, ito, so 37.5 mm. Then raised to 4, and then yung G is 35 GPA. Okay, so therefore class, naka-generate na ngayon ako ng relationship ng torque ng steel sa torque ng bronze, okay? So, ngayon, simplify ko lang ito. So, that 0 is equal to. So, pag samasamayin ko itong mga, ano, class, constants. Okay. 1.5 divided by pi over 2 times 25 raised to 4. Then, times 83. So, lumabas is 2.945. Okay. So, ini-start ko yun sa calculus, ha, para exact yung sagot ko mamaya. Okay. So, store ko yan dito. Sa lalabas, ito is negative 2.9453 times 10 raised to negative 8 T steel. Okay, and then plus, ito naman. So, that is 2 over pi over 2 times 37.5 raised to 4 and then times 35. So, ito naman is 1.89 or 839 8396 times 10 raised to negative 8 and then torque bronze. Okay. So, ayan. So, i-store ko ito ko lang sa any variable. Okay. So, check ko lang. Okay. So, next. So, meron na pala ako ngayon class relationship ng uh, torque ng steel sa torque ng bronze. Okay? So, kailangan masatisfy ko yan para mapasiro ko yung angle of twist. So, di ba class meron tayo ditong capacity? Yan ba yung ilalagay mo dito class? Ilalagay mo ba yun dyan? Hindi, di ba? Kasi nga, pag nilagay mo lang siyang rekta dito, hindi magsisiro yan class. So, ang gagawin natin, ang mangyayari kasi dyan class, hindi nga sila sabay magpe-fail. Okay, take note, itong mga nakuha nating torque dito is just yung mga uh, capacity ng mga materials natin. Okay, so ang gagawin natin class, mag a ulit tayo kung sino yung unang makakareach nung allowable niya. Okay, or kung sino yung unang magpe-fail. Okay, so gawin natin yun. So una, phase 1. Okay, kasi hindi sila sabay magpe-fail class eh. So, Hanapin natin kung sino unang mauuna. Okay, so case 1, ah, uh, sino gusto mo? Si bronze muna, no? Bronze fail first. Ibig sabihin na una niyang ma-reach yung uh, capacity niya or yung allowable torque niya. So, dapat yung torque ng bronze dapat equal siya sa dito yung nasolve natin. Yung 497 0 0 97.753 
newton mm. Tapos, dapat yung torque ng steel, since hindi pa siya nag-fail, so dapat less than siya dun sa capacity niya. Na, 196. 3495.408 newton mm. Okay, so sa natin kung i-relate to, ay eh, dito sa equation na nagawa natin ng huli, no? Dito. Sa relationship ng mga torques nila. So, kakapi ko lang to So, that 0 is equal sa negative 2.9453 times 10 raised to negative 8 torque ng steel. Then, and plus 1.8396 times 10 raised to negative 8 torque na bronze. Okay, so yun yung working equation natin. So, sasubshoot lang natin itong sa bronze. Ma-maximize natin siya. Check natin kung ma-satisfy natin yung case, yung condition natin. So, 0 is equal to... So, class, wag kang mag-arando pa para pares tayo yung sagot. So, T still is unknown. Plus 1.83... 96 times 10 raised to negative 8 yung torque ng bronze so maximize natin siya 49700 97.753 tama ba? okay so ilan yung corresponding ano ikikerry ng steel kapag ito yung torque ng bronze okay Okay, so lumabas is, check ko lang ha, 1.849 and then 2. Ayan, so ako kasi in-store ko sa calculator, so ito yung lumabas. Yung torque na ikikerry ng steel kapag siya is 497, pinaabot natin siya sa limit niya is 310-4192.741. Ano to class? Mas malaki siya dito, tama ba? Greater than siya dun sa capacity niya na 1963495.408. So therefore, not okay, di ba? Kasi na-exceed niya yung ano niya. Yung allowable niya. At the same time, hindi natin na-satisfy itong condition. So therefore, ang mauna pala dyan, makareach nung allowable niya is yung steel. So steel fail first. Or steel reach yung allowable niya na capacity na una siyang ma-reach yung allowable capacity niya compared dun sa bronze. Okay, so using yung same equation na ito, so papalitan naman natin, si steel naman yung ano natin. So, si steel, dahil nauna siya mag-fail, so dapat una niya ma-reach yung ano niya. Yung limit niya na 1963495.408 tapos dapat si bronze hindi pa siya lumalagpas dun sa limit niya na 4970097.753 so that 0 is equal sa negative 2.9453 times 10 raised to negative 8 torque ng steel so gamitin natin to 1963495.408 then plus 1.8396 times 10 raised to negative 8 and then corresponding torque ng bronze. Okay, so ibig sabihin kapag ito ang torque ng steel, ilan yung torque carried ng bronze? So... 1963 29453 saka 1.8396 Okay, so lumabas na yung torque na ikikerry ng bronze kapag yung steel is inabot niya na yung limit niya, yung capacity niya. Is ito is 3143736.53. The unit is Newton mm. Okay, which is what? Less than dun sa capacity niya, no? So, ibig sabihin, safe pa siya. So, nangyari, na-maximize natin yung steel, no? Napaabot natin siya dun sa maximum uh, allowable na pwede niya i-carry. Tapos, hindi pa natin na-exceed yung sa bronze. So, ibig sabihin, nasa safe pa tayo, no? 
Safe pa tayo class. So, 4970097.753. Anyways, anong gusto kong sabihin? That yung actual loading, kasi tinatanong ko class, di ba yung ano, uh, the largest torque T. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan ma-maximize natin yung mga capacity. So, ang corresponding na T steel na gagamitin natin, yung limit niya na uh, 1963495.408 newton mm. Tapos, yung ka-partner niya is eto. So, sila yung magka-partner. So, this one governs. Okay? So, going back dun sa sa last ano natin na nagawang equation. So, nasa na yan? Or yung first equation using equation of equilibrium that yung torque bronze plus torque ng steel minus torque T na hinahanap equal to 0. So, gamitin ko to So, that T bronze plus T steel minus T is equal to 0. So, substitute natin ito na yung mga nakuha natin. Yung actual loading condition. So, para sa bronze, uh, 3, 1, 4, 3, 7, 3, 6.53 Newton meter Newton meter ba yun? Newton mm plus Teka lang ha hmm. So dito class Newton mm pala no Ayan. So anyways Newton mm Tama pala ang unit na sulat And then plus sa steel Itong 1963 So 1963 495.408 and then minus T is equal to 0 so therefore yung largest capacity nung shop natin as a whole is how much ok so labas is 5 1 uh, 0, 7, 2, 3, 1.939 Newton millimeters. Okay, so sabi na yung largest torque P na pwede natin i-apply without exceeding yung mga allowable stresses nila. Okay, so ito na yung sagot. So check natin class kung tama ating sagot. So naka Newton meter siya, no? Naka Newton mm ako, so times ko to ng 1 meter per 1,000 mm. So, magiging torque T is equal sa 5. So, mag to 5107.23 newton meters. Which is the same. So, correct. Okay. So, hanggang dyan na lang muna class yung uh, discussion natin for this uh, video presentation kasi medyo mahaba yung solution. Anyway, yung mga next problems sa next uh, video na natin siya i-discuss. Okay? So, thank you guys for watching and God bless.